Nathan Miller death, suspect arrested, accused of dumping missing XX body. Early on March 7, authorities found Nathan Miller dead and reportedly rolled up in a carpet off Scenic Highway in Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge police in Louisiana have arrested a suspect in connection with the disappearance of Nathan Millard, a Georgia father of five and director at a construction firm who went missing from a business trip for days before he turned up dead in a vacant lot. Early on March 7, authorities found Millard, 42, dead and reportedly rolled up in a carpet off Scenic Highway in Baton Rouge, about a seven-minute drive from where he was last seen on February 23 at Happy's Irish Pub downtown with a client. The Baton Rouge Police Department, BRPD, arrested Derek Perkins, 45, on Monday for his involvement in the improper disposing of Nathan Millard's body after initially apprehending him on March 13. Perkins is facing charges of unlawful disposal of remains, obstruction of justice, simple criminal property damage and failure to seek assistance. Georgia executive disappears after night at LSU basketball game, Baton Rouge Bar. The 45-year-old was previously being held in the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison for probation violation, criminal damage to property, three counts of access device fraud and unauthorized use of a vehicle, according to police. Millard had been in Baton Rouge to meet with a client at an LSU game and then headed to Happy's afterward. Around 11.30 p.m., Millard left Happy's to return to his hotel room but never made it back, as Millard's high school friend, Matt Still, previously told Fox News Digital. Happy's is about a two-minute walk from the Courtyard Marriott Hotel, where Millard was staying. Police have not said where Millard went after Happy's or disclosed the details of his last known location. Georgia executive who disappeared in Baton Rouge after LSU game found dead. The East Baton Rouge Parish Coroner said Millard had N. O. evidence of internal or external trauma after his death. A final autopsy report is pending toxicology results. Investigators reportedly told Millard's family that he likely died of an accidental overdose with other people who attempted to hide his body, according to WAFB. Police told WAFB said they do not suspect foul play in his death. After Madison Brooks' death, slain LSU student Ali Rice's father says something's got to change. BRPD Sergeant Jean McNeely clarified that statement, telling the outlet in a statement, foul play was pertaining to the way that he died, not to the entire incident as a whole. He didn't die from blunt force trauma, he didn't die from stabbing, and he didn't die from shooting. He BRPD has not released any further information relating to Millard's disappearance and death.